Before performing any of these procedures, remember to wear eye safety protection, such as safety approved goggles and preferably a face shield. A Dremel or any high speed rotary tool can be dangerous, especially to the eyes. I highly recommend, in fact, I do not recommend doing this procedure without excessive face protection. Hey there, this is Bill Oxidine from Oxidine Marine. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to sharpen props. Very simple. Using a simple rotary tool, such as a Dremel, as you see here. <clears throat> now, this works great on our CNC props, but it'll work on any prop. You start with a CNC prop like this, and you're going to end up with an edge like this. Now, our props come sharpened. You don't need to sharpen or balance them, but they come. you can't really see well with, with the camera. But if you'd see the edge, it's not exactly sharp. It's not razor sharp. And with the boat, razor sharp makes a huge difference. So you just graze it and get that razor sharp. And I'll show you guys in one minute. Now, I personally like using a Dremel. Many, many of us have Dremels, but any rotary tool will work. There are different ones. There are generic ones you, ones you can get from Harbor Freight, and that doesn't make much of a difference. Now, I like using these Easy Lock Discs. These Easy Lock Discs. And I use the grinding side outward. Now, the orientation of the blade, you want to sharpen the outside. You don't want to sharpen the inside of the blade at all. Leave that alone. You want to sharpen the outside. And with the rotary tool spinning, you want to come and glance it and come around like this. Just a glance and you want a slight angle. And you want to get all the way from the bottom here and come around and just glance it. And you turn it around and do the other side. And come around and just glance it. And it works with three blade props, no matter how many blades, it's the same technique. And right or left props. Right hand are a little more difficult because it's more tricky. How you're um, glancing it, you're glancing it more like this, but it's the same principle. Okay, I recommend practicing first with a prop that's not so meaningful to you, maybe an older one or one that's gotten damaged. And what you can do is you can color it with a Sharpie and you make sure you cover the whole trailing edge and make sure it's coated well and when you glance it I'll show you guys my first pass here now you see the edge you can see where I barely glanced it and sharpened it now this one could use another pass. Now you can see I held it a little shallower of an angle and what I've got here is razor sharp. Razor sharp. Sharp enough to cut this sticker. And you're, you've got your Sharpie there to, to match it. Now, if you don't feel you cut it right, or you don't think you did a good grind, you can color back over it. And try it again at a different angle. A little shallow of an angle. The more shallow of an angle you see, the steeper the cut. Now I cut twice so it got a little jaggedy there, but typically you only want to do it once. Now in the end, again, you have a sharpened prop and you want to try to do both sides uniform. It's not imperative and you know sometimes it'll be a little bit off, but you want to try to do both sides uniform. 
Now with our CNC props, you don't have to color them and it's very apparent when you get that edge off. So I'll do one more. Here's a brand new CNC prop, 42 millimeter high rank. One side. The other side, voila. You just, you've just added two to five more miles per hour. Typically you'll get one or two more miles an hour, but in some applications you can get a lot. Remember, the sharper your edges are, the better. We don't sell them all, this is super high sharp for safety reasons, but once you've gotten used to the boat and you've gotten, you're real safe with it, you can start going to next level like this.